Tex Ray and White made everything all right. How green was my cactus? Hands up if you've heard cactus. Oh, look at you all. You're going to get some distinctions that will give you your abundance back. Three secret rules. Keep it simple, make it memorable, evoke an emotional response. I'm going to tell you stories that take 30 seconds and each one of them is going to carry some meaning. If my little dad, the stockman, was alive, he'd call them bugger me moments. <laughs> it's hell in there when you can't laugh, isn't it? I've found what is stealing the laughter. There's four thieves afoot. If you know what they are, you can have access to your wellness and your humanity and your laughter until the day you cark it. My ears were flapping under my chin. <laughs> and my husband must have been thinking, who are you? I said, Wayne, I can see you hiding behind the box, Dad. Nobody had trained Wayne into being the word service. When you put your foot out on the floor, you get to make up who you're going to be. Slow business in your area doesn't tell you, you tell you. A little boy aged 11 said, enlightenment. And he changed us. You know, when you say to people, how are you? They say, I'm so tired. <laughs> and then we think we have to stick another disempowering word next to tired. Tired and miserable. Tired and overworked. Tired and underpaid. Tired and not tonight, Barry. <laughs> So you can come home tired and profoundly satisfied. Tired and fun mum. Tired and fun dad. Every time I, I speak, I count the seconds. Ooh, I love that one and I can't get that one back. I was up in Bamaga recently with Indigenous early childhood educators. They were the Cape York seconds, they were beautiful. Port Hedland with BHP Billiton. But they were the rusty, dusty Port Hedland seconds. A lot of testosterone up there, girls. <laughs> what if when you went home after this wonderful conference that's filled your spirits up, you, you know, looked at your family for the first time? Live with urgency before the emergency. Have a look into the future and it will actually change your behaviour now. The way I transform farmers' outlook so that they can dare to dream again is to say to them, what do you want your farm to look like in a hundred years? And they go. <laughs> because that's good Australian man speak. <laughs> They've lost their joy, passion, enthusiasm, motivation, hope, dreams, esteem, worth, and their liver. But apart from that, I think they'll grow a really wonderfully successful business. <laughs> Nothing happens when you're down here. You have no power. You choose to be the author and choose which word. If you're gonna be a leader, you can't be conditional. It can't be 50-50. You're either in or out. It's 100 or nothing. That's how powerful the word is. <laughs>